All right, Danny, you look better than ever. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks, Con. I appreciate it, man. There's a, there's a team of 42 people here trying to keep the bags out from under my eyes. <laughs> Don't tell me you have makeup on, bro. You're a tough guy. <laughs> I've got Natalie over here, man. She's, she's helping me make, make me look good today. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations on season two. When you heard it got renewed, how did it make you feel? Man, you know what? It's, it's awesome. You know, season one went so well. And uh, I just feel, you know, really fortunate that when history made the call and came back and said, let's do season two, but not only let's do season two, we're going to double up the episodes. So you're getting twice as much counting cars in season two as you got in season one. It's awesome. Twice it's as a much as you. Tw- we love having twice as much, you know, two of you. Amen. Twice as much as you. Is that, that's what they would say, right? Thank you, brother. I appreciate that very, very Our- much, man. Now, let me ask you, when you actually watch the footage, are you surprised at how your team works when you're not in the shop? Uh, You know, I've known my team for an awfully long time, and so I know how they behave. I know what they do when I'm not there. They, they, They only thought I didn't know, so it doesn't surprise me when I see some of the footage of some of the antics that they do when I'm gone. It just, it's just now I've got evidence. Well, we love watching the drama. Did you know there was that much drama happening when you were just without the cameras? Oh, yeah. I knew that. It was, oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it was kind of funny because you know, they, 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 they kind of want you to, to, uh, to do the fighting thing and the yelling and screaming thing. And it's like, you know what, guys? We don't really need to do that. There's real drama in this shop. Just, just watch. And so, uh, the, you know, the, the challenge is restoring these vehicles and keeping them within budget and, and making sure that you can make money in, in the long run. And, and there's that constant conflict between my creativity of wanting everything to be the best that it can be, yet it has to make sense financially for the business. So there's, there's the real drama right there, and it's very, very real. So do you have a trailer there now? Can you say I want only green M&Ms and this kind of beer stocked in my uh, my uh, green room? God, I, I haven't gotten to that level yet, man. Maybe someday I'll get my own trailer and my bowl of green M&Ms, man. But at this point, that you know, awesome. I'm, I'm still going through the you know the drive-through at Mickey D's and getting back to work. All right, get us started. We got to wrap things up, but give us a sense of what the first episode will kick off for season two. Episode one for season two is is monster. It's huge. We've got there's there's a whole lot of fun in episode one, but uh, there's also a vehicle in episode one that uh, I really poured myself into on a personal level that I absolutely love. So I'm proud of it. I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to say what it is. But all I can tell you is there's in, in in episode one of season two there's a great balance of of a whole lot of fun on this side. But there is a, a really wicked car that I took a, a really personal, uh, just buried myself personally into, into building this car. And I hope everybody enjoys it as much as I do. I love it. I love that you use the word wicked. I'll be tuning in. And as we wrap up, given your tremendous success, which is well-deserved, what advice would you give to others living out their dreams? Man, you know what? It's just uh, I- I'm doing something that I love. And uh, I, think that, uh, I think that that's what makes it good. I think that um, I'm blessed in the fact that, that I can do what I love and pay the bills doing it. So I think for you know, people out there that um, are maybe looking for something that they want to do, pick, pick what you love and, uh, and, and really immerse yourself in it. That way you're passionate about it and the finished product comes out that much better. And then people take notice. Because if it's something wow. that you really love and you really care about, it's going to blossom beautifully, and that's when people notice it. You're blossoming right there on the History Channel. Thanks for your passion because we get to enjoy it. Con, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks uh, for everybody out there watching.